the Chicano, the Mexican American, the Mexican movements uh, of people, mm -hmm. you know, they are very, very connected to resistance. It's okay. in our yeah, history. Anything they see is imperialism. It's, it's, they, it's, they find it's it. in our history for hundreds of years. And so it only makes sense that there's a, a, a big demo that mm -hmm. that that does have that does have a connection with the people of Palestine. And yeah. there's nothing Just wrong right. with that. You can you can yeah. you can have a connection with the people and still address the you know all the other complicated issues. Yeah, all that the other stuff. Time. Yeah, but but they, right. but remember they're they're used to this thing. They're used to American culture, which has no empathy at all. At least in the previous generations for that community. So they're used to putting whatever they want, garbage in movies, you know, the Arab terrorists, and there being no resistance. They're used to it. They're not used to or, a large or portion any, of their audience right. being sympathetic to this community. They don't know what to do. Or, any, yeah. or any discourse, uh, Cameron, where, where people mm -hmm. like you and me bring up, hey, but what about mm -hmm. this? But yes. then we're the ones being called, oh, you're just being too sensitive. You're you're just being woke, Polly. Come right. on, have a sense yeah. of humor. I'm like, I got a sense of humor, but that shit was never funny, or that shit was fucked no, up. No, and yeah, and 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 the thing is this again, we've had this conversation yeah. well. We talk broadly now about we talk about Hollywood's racism. I mean, there's a lot of this insensitivity and racism on the right, and certainly in, in the commentator community, in the YouTube community, right? Where there's a right. lot of they bifurcate things in ways that are not real. For example, we saw that when during Melissa Brera, you know, Melissa Brera, you and I have talked about it. You know, she's actually quite sympathetic to traditional conservative value. She was the one that spoke out saying, it's okay to have, you know, we don't need to have shade racism. We need to have a, you know, remember that whole thing when she was confronted with that, by that activist who was saying, you know, there's not enough Afro-Caribbeans in, in, in her movie, right? And, and she, while, while the Asian director said, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Well, everyone, said, well, everyone right. apologized, right. And she didn't, and she confronted it, didn't. and she said, that's not right. At that time, the right-wing groups, oh, look at her, she's on our side, right? And then she speaks out for Palestine, and they presume that that is a left-wing Marxist position to have. And so all these characters, same characters, immediately forgot that. They don't, uh, and they immediately jumped onto, well, she got fired because she deserved it because she's a woke left wing Marxist. You know me, I ain't no left wing Marxist. I'm pretty conservative. <laughs> I'm a religious guy, pretty conservative yeah. guy. Politically, I'm libertarian, which is really shocking in Hollywood, right? I ain't no, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm very anti Marxist and I'm sure. very pro Palestine, right? From the proper, I mean, setting aside my cultural religious beliefs, from the property rights perspective as a libertarian, which is, you know, somebody, you know, somebody can't just steal your house without compensating for you. <laughs> I mean, that's right. a libertarian perspective. If you steal a whole country without addressing it, there's a libertarian argument that that's wrong. That's a right wing argument. And and yet I was put into, oh, Cameron's a Marxist. I'm like, no, I'm not actually <laughs> because of my sympathies. But that's the, the, the bifurcated conversation on this topic that Melissa disrupted. Yeah, yeah, and so and as a result, we are at this place, right, where Hollywood is confused. It's scared of this community. It needs it. It sees it as the demographic future. But on a deeper political thing, this whole Latinx thing also reveals something that frightens sort of the Hollywood Marxists that our right wing friends are upset yeah. about, right? Which is that the the argument is, you know, the whole argument is they are bringing in all these you know illegals from Latin America, and they're gonna vote Democratic, and they're gonna Vote them, and they're like, well, but these guys are coming in from from the Latino countries who are actually socially conservative, so they're actually really more on closer to you. So they ain't voting in that direction, right? So now you've got Hollywood realizing that and suddenly becoming concerned. We've been championing this community, thinking it's going to vote culturally on, with us, and doesn't seem to be doing that. And right wingers don't know what to do with it because they, frankly, a lot of them really are racists, <laughs> and they don't they don't really like a conservative Latino either. <laughs> Let's just be frank well, about it. it. <laughs> it's a lack of understanding, and that's the thing is that is that if if you don't understand it from the get go, and you have a very narrow uh, world world view of right. of even what it means to be an American, yeah. then when shit like this comes up, it, it's very hard, difficult to have a to have a real civil discord and real real conversation about things without because you don't know what you're yelling about. <laughs> without <Yeah. laughs> right there's you know it, it's it's like it's like someone growing up in Southern California and loving the food but not understanding a damn fucking thing about uh you know the history the people it, it, yeah. it, it's so it's so it's 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 both ignorant and elitist and, and arrogant at the same all all in one. And that's 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 just the construct of how it's been. But listen, 
I'm we're we're all maneuvering. We're we're none of us are victims here. We're we're kicking ass and we're we're we want part of the American dream as well. So yeah, uh yeah, man. <laughs>